Hey guys, get a little suggestion uh, in one of the comments to zoom in so that we could see what we were doing. So I figured I would uh, show you that. Hi. Uh, give you a little update on exactly what I was doing with the bed. Uh, to show you uh, how I'm going to take on the bed challenge. Um, first of all, I think I showed in one of my videos, these cutting mats worth their weight in gold. Uh, I think I paid $21 I'll send this. I've been cutting and cutting and cutting on it and it cleans up really nice. And you can use it, these are one inch squares, very clearly marked all over the place. Really works great. Basically, this is what I'm gonna do for the bed. A little more detail. Remember I told you in the last video I did Spend the two, three dollars that you can get on, on uh, these wood bits, cubes, squares, rectangles, uh, bowls, little bowls, discs that you can get. Just any kind of shape, grab them. They are so useful. It's not even funny. The other thing that I get is there's popsicle sticks, and then there's tongue depressors. Both are just as useful as just could possibly be. Guys, this just this stuff just you can use it for everything. So when I do the bed, the plan is we're going to make sure I have at least one straight edge to cut off the ends. Ta-da! Couple ways to cut it. I do, in fact, have one of these. Very nice. But for this, the wood is so thin, this is a little bit of overkill to me. So what I like to do, big old cutters right on the line, a little crimp, and a bend off, and you're done. Just like that right on the line, a little crimp, bend over, just like that. Is it perfectly straight? No. That's what sandpaper is for, a little sand block, a little foam sand block. So when I get it basically cut, I can line them up using the grid, do a little mark, and I can quite literally do these by hand. And I can get two beds sets because I want two slats for the bed base, okay? Just that simple, and it's gonna be, again, the same process. Get it right on the line, a nice good crimp, and it comes right off. Right on the line, nice good crimp, comes right off. There you go, I've got my piece for the, for the bed. Now, you're going to have a little extra, as you can see, I'm going to cut there, I'm going to cut there. I'm going to have this. It's going to be extra, useless. Not so. Even eyeball it. Crimp, bend it off. This becomes the cross member with the hot glue. And when it's glued together, she's going to look like that. Okay? So that gives you a little bit more uh, of an idea of how that's going to work. Now when the piece is together, what I do, like I said in the previous video, <clears throat> these are my headboards. I don't know if you can see that. It's going to be my headboard, okay? And to add a little more stock surface, like Gareth has often suggested, I put another little square by square, quarter uh, inch square round, they call it. And I'm going to put it right, one right there, one right there. Okay, as soon as our gun gets hot, I should have started it earlier. And that is going to add a lot more surface area in a nice stop spot. I can tell, well, I'll put it right there and life will be good. Nice stop. This is ready to go. Okay. But before that, what I do is I make sure 
that I have a nice flat surface here. And if I don't, and a couple of them I don't, see like that's sort of cockeyed, it's not really staying steady. This comes in really handy. And you just keep on taking it down. And the beauty is, it's not going to ruin the length of the bed so much that it's going to matter. Uh, this is high fantasy. We're not doing uh, um, a replica of the White House to be uh, displayed at the Smithsonian. So you just take this down enough to where you're happy with, oh yeah, okay, you got a nice flat there. It's going to stick nice. Life will be good, okay? Let me check to see if our gun is up. This gun is, I uh, had a real nice gun. It was sort of this one. Had a plug into the base. It died. I'm really sad. My favorite, was my favorite gun. Uh, but it has uh, since demised. And so while we're waiting for that to show up, I can show you the other step that I sort of showed and like uh, the person commented, I wasn't showing close enough. So this is what I do with these. Where'd my disc go? All right, anybody see the disc? All right, who took the disc? All right, it's around here somewhere. Here we go. We'll steal another one out. Again, the wood bits. Gun's going to get hot. Turn around, spot it. Bang. Just like that. Okay? And when it's cool, nice and cool and centered the way you want it, we're going to do the Scotty trick. And we're just going to take white glue. I start in a wide circle, not quite to the edge. Can if you want. Fill it in. Get it all gooped up in there with the white glue. Then, another Scotty trick. The old uh, construction sand trick. You're going to put that glued. I use um, styrofoam plates. Cover that glue with the sand. Now, like I said before in the previous video, I've done four of these. They've been drying for a couple days, so they're ready to go. Um, I've done this a couple times. Uh, using the white glue and the construction sand. Let this set a full 24 hours. Yeah, you have to wait. Yeah, it sucks, but it's worth it. Because when you do uh, the reveal, um, you are, are really, like, you know, sort of tap it to get the light stuff out. You're really going to get a nice base in there. And everything is going to stick up really, really good. Now, this is ready to black base paint. Okay. So, am I ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So, that was by, uh, by way of update for that. So, you can see how, how that is actually done. And these are going to look great. I mean, they're, they're just going to look great. Uh, black them up. I'll make sure that the... Uh, um, Coals look like coals, a little flamage uh, with the liquid um, uh, Liquitex stuff. Just maybe a few flame ups, uh, nice uh, uh, flame painting scheme. And this I'll probably do in a base black and maybe, maybe I'll copper them. Maybe I'll brass them or bronze them or just a dark metal, okay? Uh, just enough to make it look uh, a little used and, and used and abused and dungeony. So now that we're ready with the hot glue gun, by the way, first time that I have uh, hot glued live in a person, I'm going to make sure I have one of these that I like. Oh, that's pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a small line. Don't want a lot. Get my square block, down she goes, okay? I squeeze tight. Take a piece of scrap that you got laying by. Go ahead and clear the face because you don't want any excess. And make sure that that 
square quarter by quarter inch round piece that you know we're calling it round but you know what I mean this piece is nice and flat you're going to do the same thing to the other side so we're going to take that glue gun and a thin line is all you need so if you have any kind of good control finger control the better a little drop on take it right to the end nice good bit of oomph pressure make sure i'm flat give it a couple seconds and again take a spare piece that's of wood that's hanging around and uh get it off and there you go our bed base is gone and of course please do remove the uh requisite stringies that you always get so this bed sits very nicely very flat it's ready to go now my bed boards now if you wanted to and I suppose you can and while we're here just on the fly just because I feel like it let's see if we can do a Gareth trick and add a little uh, oomph to it we're gonna put a little uh, round to the end a little round a little angle add a little detail just 45 off the corners nothing fancy just to add a little bit Okay, make sure I grab the right ones. Okay, where's the one that I just got? Oh, look at that. Picky picky. And I'm just going to probably put too much. Unless I miss my mark, I'm going to put it right to the flat. Bend it up. Make sure it's centered. Okay, ish. And I'm on and it sits nice okay I could even leave it like that if I really wanted to um, but I don't can't leave well enough alone um, and we'll just go ahead and do the other end yeah it's a little bit more control again to a nice flat surface that's the other thing about this stuff if you glue on it like I do to keep things square Wear up. The glue comes off this thing really easy. And there you go. I got a bed. Okay? Not bad. Not bad. Okay? And, as I said yesterday, knowing that this is a 2x2, two two, can I not, and I will, Cut me a, a, a two inch section. Let's see, make sure I'm in your view. And how wide is this? Well, if I use the grid, that's another beautiful thing about this. I can eyeball and say, eh, about an inch and a half. So I don't want totally the full. Okay, did I do that right? No, that's two inches. I want it this way. You knew that. You were just testing me. Okay. And <clears throat> if you really want to get fancy schmancy, um, uh, a few different size of these plastic squares, gosh, guys, they're, they're just not that expensive, um, are probably worth it just to keep things um, square and square and up. Um, this is the first time I've done the mattress. So hopefully it'll work without me looking like a total geek, total uh, amateur. Let's see if that pulls off. Ooh, it's even a little dirty on the other side. That helps. Okay, little tight fit. And I wanted mine a little under the full bed size. You know, I want to show a little of the bed edge. Nothing in D&D &D or Pathfinder has any business being totally perfect. There we go. That's a nice fit. Look at that. I got me my, uh, got me a mattress at the very least. And um, 
Geez, I don't know. How do you want to do the pillow? Beautiful stuff about this white foam stuff as well. It has just enough uh, flexibility, just enough give and stuff. And I can put a pillow or a couple pillows there. Um, I'm not real sure how to put a blanket over this. Um, I can figure that out. Um, but what do you think, guys? Not too awfully shabby. Um, and, and, you know, definitely something workable. Definitely something that uh, I think we can work with. So there's uh, my uh, take on the bed so far. Like I said, all you really need is uh, two of these makes me two beds. With four of these and enough cross member to go across four times, twice for each bed. The excess of these goes across there. There you go. What do you think? Um... And uh, maybe in a couple days or more, I'll have all the beds done with the, with the covers, and we'll see what it looks like. And I'll try to get these uh, braziers finished up um, so that you can see how they go. All right, that's it for uh, Caden's Castle this time. I don't know if you saw me at all, uh, but there you go. Catch you later, guys. Uh, and uh, as always, make neat stuff. Have a good day, guys.